salt. It's your servant in a thousand ways. So this week, it's information, please. Where does it come from? In search of salt, we must go nearly 500 feet underground. Here at Meadow Bank Mine in Cheshire is the only salt mine in England still working. Millions of years ago, the mine was a salt lake. Now it's a storehouse of solid mineral. Pure rock salt is even harder than its brother, coal. And now so solid it has to be pneumatically drilled prior to blasting with explosives. Meet the miner, one of the 80 salt workers left in Britain. Blasting produces 50,000 tonnes of rock salt a year. Using only a pick, he'd hardly fill a coal scuttle in an hour. A warning shout and the miners make for shelter. A hundred tons landslide is on its way. But there's plenty more where that came from. Fifteen hundred million tons in this mine alone at a good guess. And only about a million tons have been lifted since the mine was opened over a hundred years ago. Nature is prodigal with her precious gift to mankind. This lump will never help to fill your crit. Instead, it'll probably find its way to Australia, where cattle are the biggest consumers. They lick the solid lumps, and as a gesture of gratitude and goodwill, even manage to send some of it back in your weekly butter ration. Mining salt is thirsty work. It puts an edge on a man's appetite, too. Lucky man in his job. It isn't everyone who works in a ready-made salt cellar. The boulders have been broken up, and now the salt mine railway takes over. Tracks built on the solid rock floor, a trainload of vital mineral takes another step in the journey towards daylight that it hasn't seen since prehistoric monsters roamed abroad. Coming up, just 50 seconds to travel a distance three times the height of Nelson's column. Pit head, the trucks are manhandled from the cages. There's a barge waiting round the corner for another harvest from the deep pastures of Mother Earth. The rich yield of a cavern where the sun never shines is off to give life to the outside world. Mm -hmm.